Research shows that U.S. military veterans are twice as likely to suffer from ALS as the general public. ALS, a progressive disease causing muscle weakness or atrophy. So what is causing this alarming connection and what's being done to help those who served our country? Shelley Botot has details in Health Watch. An increasing number of military veterans are being diagnosed with ALS. John Hartwell never imagined years after serving his country, he might wind up like this. I was in the Air Force from 19, September 1971 to September 1975. It started with hand cramps in 2015 and then twitching in his arms. John was eventually diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. Dr. Ashok Verma at the Miami VA says the incidence of ALS in war veterans is double that of the general public. When people looked into ALS, who have served in Persian Gulf War, it was approximately twice as common to general population. That also applied to those who served in World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam. But what's the cause? It may be environmental toxicants, for example, exposure to oil well, burning fumes. John isn't sure if there's a link between his service and ALS, but since losing the use of his arms, he is learning to adapt. Hey, I am great with a mouse on my toes. It, it, actually, it's really easy. He relies on his wife, Linda, to feed him, but has not lost his sense of humor. Got to be nice to my wife. Always am glad. <laughs> in the meantime, John is participating in clinical trials, hoping to shed light on the battle against ALS. Currently, the lifespan of a patient with ALS is three to five years. There are two FDA-approved medications for ALS, but Dr. Verma says the effects are modest. That's why finding a cure is so urgent. He says any veteran diagnosed with ALS should contact the VA system and get enrolled. John also recommends calling the Paralyzed Veterans of America. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.